Welcome back to NDS Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to give access to a specific folder in SharePoint Online. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here on SharePoint, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Giving access to a specific folder in SharePoint Online can be necessary for various reasons depending on organizational needs and operational requirements, all right? Now, when working on collaborative projects, granting access to a specific folder allows team members to share and collaborate on files efficiently. For example, this is going to be the document and this is the shared file to you and you wanted to give access to a specific member or a collaborator within their organization, all you're going to do is right click on the ellipsis. So when you hover your mouse, you would be able to see some details. All right. And all you're going to do is, of course, click on share. All right. Now you can add name specifically a group or email address and you can also put in a small short message about what is what contains the folder or within the file itself and all they're going to do is uh, click on send. Now you have a uh, link settings here wherein you can share the link with anyone, people in this specific organization, people with existing access, people you chose, all right? Now they have an um you would of course choose the administrative privileges such as anyone can edit anyone can review anyone can view and of course if you don't want them to download the file itself all right after doing so all you're gonna do is click on that to see that the if the file can be accessed um, without any problem now it allows you to place specific permissions to different folders within a SharePoint site, ensuring that only authorized individuals can view or modify the content. Now, for folders containing a sensitive information, granting access ensures that all individuals with appropriate permissions can access the confidential files. And of course, you need to be careful within uh, managing access to specific folders here on SharePoint because organizations can enhance collaboration streamline workflows, maintain security, and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements, ultimately supporting efficient and effective business operations. Whenever you share um, designated users to contribute to or access libraries of resources, documents, or templates, you also give them access to training materials or resources stored within specific folders, supporting employee development and knowledge sharing initiatives. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.